all right guys welcome back to uh, another video now we're looking at uh part c of the question one of the 2022 keep unit two past paper question now this is a two marks question so it shouldn't take us any long time to solve it um of course you would go ahead and read the question we're given an equation here that we are or some type of expression so to speak um, which at some point you're gonna have to linearize it yeah to figure out the the value of um, I E yeah which is a constant so they already told you that they want you to go ahead and actually fill out the table here right so in a sense to complete the table right we need to compute the value for this expression all right now bear in mind if you see the minus one uh, here right it means the inverse so in other words you could write it as this one over bracket one plus RL which we already know right and then close the bracket so you might be wondering how would you get this um, negative one in the calculator it simply means the inverse okay so one divided by whatsoever thing it is that's what it means so if you go ahead and just do a sample calculation one divided by bracket one plus rl which is already given to us as the low resistor so that's going to be five divided by six close the bracket when you work that out you should be getting um zero point uh four five okay and once you put that in your table you'll get your two marks pretty much all right now the next part of the question was for us to uh plot a graph yes so they want you to plot a graph of il against um what we just fixed in it or what we just uh fixed in the table so to speak okay so this is what the graph would look like fairly decent graph um, this is more like of a negative type of gradient type of graph so to speak so once, when you get the value for the gradient it should generally be a negative value per se um, with that being said uh, I went ahead and I plot the graph it looked like this this point seems to be more of an outlier per se because it is a little bit outside of the line of best fit this is the best way I could get the line um, maybe you could have done it differently I'm using a computer model so let's see if we can identify the gradient points these are the points that I'm going to use my gradient that is going to be my x1 my y1 and it's going to be my x2 y2 point so let's just see if we can um, quickly identify those so for x1 that's going to be in terms of the coordinates that is going to be um, 1.5 and then for the for the uh, y for the y value that's going to be around um, this is 25 then halfway is just going to be 27 point 5 I would believe yes um, maybe it could be different but I think it's going to be uh, 27.25 uh, next for the x2 value here is going to be um, 4 uh, 0 0.4 rather forgive me I should fix something let me correct something here All right, so this is not 1 point, uh, 1 point 5. it is 0 0.15 yes and this is now going to be 0 0.4 okay and the x value is going to be 7.5 in my estimation yes 7.5 now with that being said with that being said we can determine the gradient okay so gradient gradient of course as we know gradient I will define gradient 